What's happening folks and welcome to another episode of this Top of Hotspur Let's Play. If you're excited for this episode, hit the like button down below and subscribe for daily FM content on the channel. Down below is my Let's Play channel which has got Resident Evil 4 on there and I'm not sure if it's going to start yet. I'm not sure what the date is going live. This is, I think it's soon. I know it's 28th if it comes out. Uh, Jedi Survivor is coming out as well so go check that out as well. So today we're on the page of the Development Centre. Youth Intake came in. It wasn't great um, but it's a good thing to show because it means it I can't accidentally spoil anything else that's happened. So, like I said about the semi-final FA Cup changing our schedule, it has made the schedule a bit different uh, to what I want to do. And, sh and you'll see why in a second when I show you the fixture list. So, uh, but first of all, I've got games off camera to show you. Um, let's have a look at them. So mixed fortunes really, as you can see, uh, good win against Fulham, really bad performance against Villa, and then a good solid performance against Crystal Palace. Now, the semi-final is on after the after that Milan game. So to make things easy on myself, I do two games per episode. It's my it's my it's my preference. Fulham and Milan today. Man City, Milan tomorrow. Bournemouth, Chelsea next day. So um, that's the episodes for you right there. Uh, obviously. Um, Depending what happens with the Champions League quarterfinal, again, I put a comment there to say you never know what happened in that one. I suspect, given our performances, we're going to go out. Uh, we're not playing well at the minute. We can't keep the ball. We're making silly passes in midfield. Even if the passes are not even on, and they're playing it short straight to the opposition player. So hopefully that will change. Good news is Harry Kane scored against Palace. So hopefully he can get his goal scoring touch back. He did get a knock, but he's, I think he's okay for today's game. I could be wrong. Um, I'm pretty sure he's all right. Yes, he is. Um, and there's a, I've done a transfer for next season already. It's a pre-contract agreement. I'm not going to say who it is. Um, I'm going to let you and wait till the end of the season to find out who that is. Put it this way, he won't be starting many games. He's agreed to be a squad player, uh, but I think he's better than Luke. I, I just I just think it's a decent op option. Um, he's t he basically suits our style and um, roll better. So here we go then, folks. We're at home to follow. Him. We've not been... It's been win, loss, win, loss, win, loss, win. So, we won last game. Do you see where I'm going with this? <laughs> Hopefully, it doesn't happen. But, based on our form, I wouldn't be surprised. Ball in the box. Loris should catch that easily, and he does. He's always a bit doubt over it, though, isn't there? Uh, Sessignon, bringing it forward now. He's got a lot of space to run into. He needs a passing option, though. He's got it to Longley. Now, Hoiberg. Good ball for Son. Son's thrown goal and finishes it beautifully. Really good pass from Hoiberg and a really good run. Could argue me pulled for anything from Fulham. 
potentially. Um, but this is really good play um, from Hoiberg. This pass here is absolutely fantastic. Touch in that gap. Son gambles gets in there, hits a shot, and the keeper just nowhere near it. 1-0 against Fulham. Great start. That is a fantastic start to the game. You couldn't do any better than that, could you, really? Literally no highlights since then. I'm not even kidding. Not a single highlight since then. War Prowse wins that. I think he does. Yes, he does. He's got many Kane running towards him. Kane, can, he's not going to find Kane with that pass there, is he? I don't, I don't think. No, he's a good... good yeah, good, good idea. Benton Coe. Again, the passes like that. Just the wrong pass and then it badly played. Kuzeski, base pace in the penalty area. Now, so... Oh, he's put too much on it. He just lifts that to the far post or just chips it to the far post. Son's got a header and it's a free and it's 2-0. Again, just a little few creaking errors into our game the last few weeks, um, which are not good. Um, but yeah, I mean, that game, we're very comfortable in this first half, but we need to get a second goal. Um, but we're just making silly passing mistakes and hopefully that can be, we can cut that out. One ball. B is 4-0 recently, so I don't know what's happened today. Benton Co, Hoiberg, Well Prowse, Kursevsky. Good ball to Son. Son turns back. Penalty. Has to be a penalty. He's not going anywhere with that. Why are you bringing him down? So Kane's got a chance to score from the penalty spot. He missed his last penalty since um I can't remember what game it was in. He missed his last penalty. So hopefully he can make amends in this one. Um and score it. And it's a big goal if he can get it, because it's 2 0. It's probably going to be game up, not game over, but Good, a good lead for us. Kane steps up. I don't know how to describe what has happened there. Tottenham 2 for them nil. That's all I can say about that. Literally, that's all I can say. Long ball down the line. Makes some changes in, in, in the second half is to get fresh legs on at this point. Long ball by um, Leno. Jump for the ball, somebody. Percy's got time. Brings it forward. Finds, okay, great ball. Tack on Cholo Glue. Throw and go for make it free. And the keeper's had another nightmare there. Tottenham free, Fulham nil. It's a good scoreline. It's a back-to-back it's -back -back wins in the league for the first time in a while, but to be fair, we've also not played games back back in the league. We, you know, we've had a lot of cup games in between league matches. So great ball by Cook over the top. There's like a channel Loglu. Keeper, it's right at him. He's got to do better than that, in my opinion. But it's 3 0. We take that, and it's definitely game over now. I'll well, offside check. Yeah, why, why, why not? It's worth, it's worth checking that. He's just on, according to that. Um, and the graphics look like he's he shows he offside, but clearly not. And that's full time. We take that. We take that. Um, clean sheet. No stress. No injuries. Um, Kane missed a penalty, unfortunately, which is annoying. But we've, we scored a rebound, sort of. Yeah, perfect score. And going to the next two wins out of two. Going to a big game in Champions League. It's what you kind of want, really, isn't it? Right then. On now to... We're 10 points clear, but obviously Liverpool get a few good games in hand. But anyway, on now to Milan. Right, guys, match number two, uh, Milan. Obviously, um, big game, but also show you something interesting. Obviously, City have sacked their manager, and Simeone is their manager now. And we're playing Man City next episode, and look at their form. However, it's still Man City, and it's me playing against them. So, I'm not holding out much hope. Um, but, yeah, let's focus on Milan. Um, we're not playing our best, but to be honest with you, we're in a position where... I think we've overachieved this season. With the, with the issues at left back specifically and back up to right wing and midfield still needs to be worked on, I think. And set back, we can do a set back as well, to be honest with you. Uh, I think we're doing very well. Um, 
It's just the problem now is when you get so far in the league and you're leading it, if you don't win it, it's a bit of a sour taste, isn't it? Um, if we don't win it, of course, we might win it. Yeah, I, I still have doubts over that. Um, but we know this formation works. We know this tactic is good. I think it's just a matter of increasing the level of the squad into the general depth, a quality depth. That's what I think anyway. I don't know if you guys agree with me or not. Right, let's skip that. Let's get on with this. <laughs> Milan away. Tough game. Let's see what, let's see what we can do. Throw in for uh, Milan. Don't touch him. Just didn't want to foul him in, the, in there. Kane, good ball to Kovacic needed here because he got he's doing well there. Now he needs support. Kane's trying to get in support to help him out. Powers is back up, back up for him there. Now Ward Prowse. Oh, I feel like across the towards Hoiberg. Or Benson Kerr, sorry. A wide to Sessignon. To Kane! And it's his first goal. Is it from, no, is it first goal? No, it's not first. I was going to say his first goal from open play. It's not. Uh, since he came off injury. Milan nil, Tottenham won. I, I wish the way goals was in the game. So I, I, I missed that way goal rule. I don't. I, I mean, it's probably because I'm old, I'm an oldie and I'm an oldie and I've, I've had it all my, I had it all my all my life in that condition. Great ball, there's Harry Kane. One nil in one nil in Italy. Um, yeah, great great football that uh, hold up play, picking right passes, overlaps, brilliant. Sessignon. Son. Now Sessignon. Longley. Okay, yes, yeah, that's fine. Lois come off his line. That's fine. Just be careful with this. Romero, Kulusevski, Romero, Kulusevski, good ball to Poro, little space to Poro here, can you find a cross in the box, towards Son, it's two, Milan nil, Tottenham two, and it's a fantastic start to the tie, we are absolutely, once again it's that, picking right past that, we weren't doing this recently, we were making silly mistakes in these areas, getting the ball away, but today, we found the passes a lot better, I mean, obviously the fullback has not been marked, has helped us out there a bit, uh, but then there's Son the Fabos just gambling in there, and we've got a two goal lead here in Italy. D if you tell me to start the game, this would happen. I'd be very, very surprised. Look at the position stats. We're not a down against a decent side for a while. The thing now is not to give anything easy away. They score a stunning free kick from here, then fair enough. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Two things I thought there. One, I thought it was going to bounce off him and go in. I second thought it was going to hit clear it onto the land plane and go in. But half time, 2 0 up. This is a very good scoreline. If we can keep this or extend it, I'll be absolutely over the sodding moon. Um, but I do anticipate a comeback or at least an upturned performance from Milan. But what a first 60 minutes of time it's been for us. Well, not a lot's happening in this second half, which is fine when you're 2 0 up. So I'm not going to complain. I'm not going to complain at all. I'm going to make changes now in the usual in midfield just to give fresh legs um, in certain areas where I can. Um, just to freshen it up a little bit and make sure we've got energy in certain areas. I mean, left back is a problem. Percy can go there for now, I think, on the count anyway, so that's cool. But yeah, left back is definitely something that I'm looking start scouting for. I'm um, thinking about, oh, come on, get a third. Okay, that's your ball, mate. Don't lose it, though. Back to the defence if you have to. That's fine. Switch it wide, Sesson Yon. Then Juma. Hakan. Long late. Sesson Yon. Can he beat his man? No, but there's Bintico following him up. Good ball in the box. Ah, that's poor. It's, it's not the right ball to play. He's got so much time on it as well. There's no excuse for it, really. Long ball at the pitch. Win that head of somebody. Sessignon win that double. Oh, he's backed out of it. You can't back out of that, Sessignon. You've got to go and get it. Ibrahimovic shoots. You can't back out of that, Sessignon. You've got to try and get it. I don't mind you not getting it, but you've got to try and get it at least. Corner kick. Florenzi. Kills it in. Cleared. Yeah, see, I made changes now. We're not got the same quality on the pitch. And it is showing a little bit. Lucas Moura. Tandanga. Lucas Moura. Don't go backwards. Go forward. I turn and go forwards. There you go. Poor pass, though. Yeah, we, we, so you can see what I mean about taking players off. Sesson Yon. There's a break on now. Get it up. Play it, Sesson Yon. You're knackered. You're knackered. Play it. Brilliant. Dan Juma. Pick out a cross. Please don't, tell me he went for, please don't tell me he went for goal there. If he did, he's an idiot. Kane! Oh, that's got to be a goal. That's got to be a goal. It's Harry Kane. 
So I'm going to go to the extended highlights, guys, in the game. So we get the proper ending to the game like this, where you see a highlight in the match. But it looks like we're going by two goals, which is a fantastic scoreline. Um, full time, Milan nil, Tottenham two. I do like extended highlights because I see more of the game, but it's hating takes forever then for me. Um, so I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is make it so it's a bit more of a natural ending to the game. Show like I'll switch to extended highlights like ten minutes before the game, end of the game, put on extended, and then it's the end of the match. Looks decent. So what a couple of results there. Very pleased with that. That's three wins in a row now, and if I'm not mistaken, it's three wins in a row without conceding the goal. Uh, I could be wrong. Uh, I don't think I am, though. No, that's three games without conceding the goal. Four in the last five games, we've, we've kept clean sheets in. So that's encouraging. A two-goal lead, obviously, if that was away goals, we'd be laughing, wouldn't we? Um, you really, really would. So what I'll say is, next episode, like I said, we're going to do Man City and, and Milan. Unless one game is literally barely any highlights. Um, so if, if I get to the end of this game here against Milan, it's like 15 minutes on the video, I might do the same final as well, but Unlikely because it could go to it could go to uh, extra time penalty, so we'll probably stick to the Man City and Milan next episode. But what a couple of results that is! Um, very pleased with the, that performance. Just never really felt like we were in trouble until I made those changes, and he's seen why I'm willing to make those changes. I brought players off, and it wasn't as good as it should be, but still bigger results. So. Uh, I'll catch you guys next episode. League table, league table there with 10 points clear at the top. Obviously, people have got games in hand over us. If you haven't enjoyed it, hit the like button down below. Subscribe if you're new as well. I'll catch you all next episode, which will be tomorrow. But until then, thank you so much for watching. Bye bye. <laughs>